Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Today I'll be taking you through a couple of fragrances from the indie or niche house Belle Rebelle, which is a sustainable, ethically sourced, and cruelty-free brand out of London, England. So the two fragrances that we're going to review today are uh, Bubblegum and Peach Me. So this is actually a really cool brand and I will take you through more about the brand later on in this video, but I'm sure that you're all dying to know what these fragrances smell like. So let's go ahead and get into it. So I actually ordered just a couple of samples online. Uh, they are quite expensive to get into Canada. I think that each of the samples were nine pounds each, so almost $20 Canadian. Plus I had to pay another $23 Canadian in duty. And the shipping I think was something like almost $50 Canadian, so it's very expensive expensive just to get the two samples here for you today. I didn't go ahead and splurge on the full size bottles as of line by because again, I've never tried them before and I wanted to test them out. But let me go ahead and test the first one here. I have actually worn these previously because I wanted to understand the longevity and the performance of the fragrances. But let me go ahead and just kind of refresh my memory here. Let's kind of go ahead and put it into um, the sample envelope. So the first one we're gonna be testing is bubblegum. I have worn my pink for this occasion. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay, so the first spray of this is unbelievable. It is so hyper-realistic bubblegum. Oh my gosh, mm, that is so good. Okay, let me take you uh, through the notes here. So we have notes of fruits and clove, the middle notes of bubblegum and orange oil, and the base notes of vanilla, cashmere, and patchouli. So this is your super hyper-realistic bubblegum scent. It is that traditional bubblegum flavor. You know, picture like double bubble or bazooka, it's that pink bubblegum. Um, it could even be the, the scent of the, the bubblegum that you get in one of those like dispensers where you pay like 25 cents and they give you a bubblegum. It is like, the, the smell of the taste of chewing through the hard exterior of that bubble gum. It's that kind of like chalky white um, exterior or imagine like the chalky white powder on top of a pink bubble gum. A little bit of clove, it is less fruity than your new kind of like strawberry banana bubblegum scent that you get in like Hubba Bubba. This is more of a traditional bubblegum scent. So to me, this is very unisex because it smells so edible. This really doesn't come across as a fragrance to me. It is like you're blowing a pink bubblegum bubble and you're like getting that smell from blowing the bubble. So within about five minutes, the powdery notes begin to take over, at least on my skin. Um, you get kind of, I think the powdery notes from maybe the orange oil, the fruitiness that you get in the beginning, that like traditional bubblegum fruitiness kind of goes away and it's replaced with this powdery, soapy quality to the fragrance. Not soapy in like a cheap way. It definitely smells like an expensive handcrafted soap you would buy at a gift shop maybe, um, but it does come across a little bit more soapy, a little bit more fresh, definitely powdery. I was really hoping this is going to be a bubblegum scent all the way through because I just, I love the top so much. Like that first spray is such a burst of juicy, a delicious bubblegum flavor like my mouth is actually watering thinking about it but it does get really quite powdery in the mid about an hour in the soapiness and the powderiness gets a little bit more faint and you uh, it's replaced with this kind of vanillic candy like quality so uh, it would be kind of returned to that bubblegum scent it's a lot more faint on the skin uh, you get a little bit more vanilla so it's more of a creamy bubblegum it's really quite pretty very pleasant on the skin but it's definitely a skin scent at that point if you're looking for something uh, for your collection as a bubblegum scent this one is absolutely Absolutely amazing. I want to talk a little bit about bubblegum in comparison to a few other scents because this is not bubblegum in a sense where it's, you know, a bubblegummy tuberose scent or like a pink sugar bubblegum or even um, how people compare Love Don't Be Shy to a bubblegum scent. El Rebel's bubblegum is that traditional, you know, hard pink wrapped in wax paper bubblegum scent. So Love Don't Be Shy is more so that marshmallowy and sweet 
bubble gum or chewing gum kind of flavor. It's that bubble tape with the powder on top. Or um, imagine like opening a package of Big League Chew. I know we're getting very specific here, but they're two totally different bubble gum experiences. Uh, so again, this is more like hard pink traditional bubble gum, and this is more of your foamy, marshmallowy, sweet bubble gum. So next up here, we have Belle Rebelle's Peach Me. Really excited to try a great peach fragrance. Uh, I really like this one. This was another kind of mouth-watering fragrance. Let me go ahead and just spray this on the envelope here. So at first spray, you are getting this like intense burst of fruity peach juice. Um, and there's this undercurrent of vanilla. And I feel like we're getting this kind of fruity, creamy blend, similar to what you see in, I believe it's Mugler's um, Angel, I don't know how to pronounce it, Crossier? Oh, I don't know, from 2020. It's this like tropical creamy blend or fruity creamy blend. This is less tropical though and more dessert. So what you are seeing in Angel with that, um, you know, fig nectar and praline, I believe, it's kind of being replicated here with this peach and vanilla. So the top notes for peach me are cloves, cinnamon, osmanthus, black pepper, orange, and bergamot. The middle notes are caramel, peach, coconut, mango, and cassis. And the base notes are whipped cream, vanilla, tonka bean, apopanax, sandalwood, and musk. Mmm, this is so good. This is like your fruity, creamy, caramel fragrance. It's really, really cozy and comforting, but would be great in the summertime. Might be a little bit cloying for like a super hot day, but it is quite delicious. So once this begins to settle down, I think you can really start to pull apart the notes. The osmanthus that we're getting in the top note is what's giving us the kind of like creamy, fuzzy peach note. It is juicy and warm and honeyed. It's velvety. You start to get the spicy notes as well from the cinnamon and the black pepper. It's a very warm fragrance. You get some sharpness from the bergamot as well. It's a really beautiful harmony of all of these notes. Again, it's sweet and warm and fruity. Comparing this to Tom Ford's Bitter Peach, this is more like honeyed peaches and cream. It's way more dessert. It's kind of fresh and fruity and creamy. Whereas I feel like Tom Ford's Bitter Peach is more like warm cinnamony peach pie, almost with that sort of baked crust note. Um, again, Bitter Peach is going to be more of a clean vanilla, whereas I feel like uh, the vanilla here is a little bit more edible. I feel like Bitter Peach's vanilla almost smells like the vanilla of a dryer sheet. So it's not that sort of like Madagascar edible vanilla. Um, it's more of like a straight up clean vanilla. As this dries down further, you begin to get more of the caramel and the whipped cream that comes out. This becomes like a really dessert-like fragrance, super gourmand. This to me is like peaches and cream or peaches and chantilly cream even with a drizzle of like dolce de leche. It's Really, really yummy, nice fruity gourmand. If you like peach, this is definitely worth a try. So now that I've taken you through the fragrances, I wanna talk a little bit about their performance. Both fragrances on me lasted about two to three hours. And after that three hour mark, they really did turn into more of a skin scent. Now these were quite icy for them to be turning into skin scent so quickly, um, but I think that they are so unique, like bubble gum specifically is so unique that I wouldn't mind paying the price for a full bottle um, just so I can experience that bubble gum scent. But keep in mind that at least on my skin, I did have to reapply to kind of live that experience over and over again throughout the day. So I do want to talk a little bit about Belle Rebelle just in general as a brand uh, because I think that they are quite unique in the fragrance industry, pride themselves on their sustainable materials. So not only is their packaging all sustainably sourced. It's actually grown from mushrooms in the Netherlands, so they're fully compostable. Even I believe the seals that they use are actually made of cellulose, so these are compostable as well. What's quite unique in the fragrance industry today as well is that their caps do not contain magnets, allowing you to fully recycle the bottle and the cap. And actually, if you like your fragrance and you run out, you can send your bottle back to Belle Rebelle for a refill, and they will provide you with a discount on the refill as well. Belle Rebelle is also Leaping Bunny approved and Leaping Bunny is like 
like the gold standard for cruelty-free practices. Uh, this goes above and beyond the legal standard. So kudos to Bell Rebel for their cruelty-free, ethical, and sustainable practices. I loved both of these scents. I would definitely recommend checking out Bubblegum if you love a bubblegum scent, uh, but both were absolutely amazing. They were edible gourmands. They were just absolutely beautiful. All right, everyone, that is it for me. Probably a little bit of a shorter video as I just took you through just a couple of fragrances, but I wanted to put this review up because I don't see a lot about Belle Rebelle um, on the YouTube community yet, especially the new Peach Me fragrance. I haven't really seen that reviewed, so hopefully you found this helpful. If you did like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and if you consider subscribing to my channel, that would mean a lot to me as I build my community here. Thanks everyone for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.